solution of an equation. Today, we will learn how to solve an equation. That is, solution of an equation. Sono has X chocolates. He got 4 more chocolates from his brother. Now, he has a total of 16 chocolates. Can you tell me how many chocolates he had before? Can you represent this situation in algebraic form? Please try it. Let us solve this together. We already know that the sum of the number of chocolates Sonu had and the number of chocolates his brother gave him gives the total number of chocolates. We can express it by this equation. x plus 4 is equal to 16, where x is a variable that represents the number of chocolates Sonu had before, whose value we need to find out. Can you tell us how we have to do this? In order to do this, we have to solve this equation. Now, we have to find the solution of this equation. That is, we have to find the value of x. We can represent this equation as a hypothetical balance which is equally divided on both sides. And the beam of the balance is exactly horizontal. Here, LHS of the equation is on the left side of the balance and RHS is on the right side. While solving this equation, you have to keep in mind that the values of LHS and RHS remain equal, which will keep our equation balanced. Let us put 1, 2, 3, etc. in the place of x. As you can see, LHS and RHS are not equal in these situations. This means none of these is the correct value for x. Now let us put 12 in the place of x. As you can see, now LHS and RHS are equal. Therefore, the value of x is 12. Thus, the correct solution of x is 12. Similarly, for different values of x, the equation will not be balanced. This means, this equation has only one solution and that is x is equal to 12. So we can say that finding the solution of an equation means to get the value of the given variable. Please note that the example of the balance was taken only to help you understand the importance of the balance of equation. Now let's solve this equation. That is, let us find the value of x. In order to do this, first we will separate the variable from the remaining terms. In LHS, we have x plus 20 and in RHS, we have 30. What should we do now? We should subtract 20 from LHS so that only x remains in LHS. But to maintain the balance on both sides, that is LHS and RHS, we have to reduce 20 from both sides. Therefore, whatever operation we do in LHS, we will have to do the same operation in RHS also. Now, we will subtract 20 from both sides so that we get x is equal to 10. To check whether our solution is correct, we will put the value of x in the given LHS. If it is equal to RHS, then our solution x is equal to 10 is correct. Now, let's solve another equation. Can you tell us what we have to do to solve this? To solve this equation, we have to add 25 on both sides so that the equation will remain balanced. Therefore, the new LHS will be A minus 25 plus 25 and the new RHS will be 50 plus 25. Solving this, we get A is equal to 75. Is this the correct solution? Substituting the value of A in the equation, we get LHS is equal to RHS. Thus, our solution is correct. Let's find the solution for another equation. 12P is equal to 36. What should we do here? Think about it. You got it right. 
since LHS variable P is multiplied with 12. In order to have only variable P in LHS, we have to divide both sides by 12. By doing this, the new LHS will be P and the new RHS will be 3. We will get P is equal to 3, which is the solution of this equation. Let's check whether the solution is correct or not. Substituting P is equal to 3 in the LHS of the equation, we get 36, which is equal to the RHS. We learned how to solve the equation. I hope you have understood this well. In the next video, we will understand this with the help of some examples. Thank you.